What's up guys? It's your boy, Boss Crash, aka Betel OG, back at again with another video. And as you can see, right now, we're in where last episode took place at, and we're flying around right on through uh, Morg City Central Park, as you can see. Now this was a very fun project to do. There's still a little bit more to do on it, I'll admit. But for now, it is done and dusted. But now, on for today's video. We have new things to do, and that is going to be right here. This area right here, I prepped it in my last live stream, and um, basically, this is going to be the prime location for this. Imagine it, big mayoral um, house, um, something. I don't know, mayoral office. There, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, but we're going to be doing that with. I um oh. Yeah, I probably should mention this skin uh, while I'm at it. I got called Grudel, and um, as you can see, and seeing the tab menu, I'm now Gru from the um, the terrible, terrible movie series known as Minions. Uh, Minions 4 coming to a theater near you soon. Pretty sure it's coming out in July. Anyways, enough of that. This right in front of you guys, ladies and gentlemen, is. A build palette, not made by me. Um, I have no schematic for this, no nothing, nothing planned at all in creative. So we're, all, we're gonna sort of wing this right now. Well, over this over these next few days at least. This is a palette brought to me by the lovely, lovely Scarians. And basically it's quartz, polished diorite, uh, both prismarine types right there. White, yellow, light blue, and blue glazed terracottas. And, uh, oh, I don't have it. Oh, uh, copper. Here it is. I'm gonna go... F I'm pretty sure they said oxidized copper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check again. But I'm pretty sure it's oxidized copper, so I'm gonna use just the blue stuff. And then he wants... Uh, the person who gave me this is, uh, not on. His name's Ocean Flan. He wants exactly one polished black stone wall. So, you know, that that has to be kind of the crown crowning jewel of this build. So, where's her? I'm so slowly... To whittle it down and um, I'm gonna go with the aerial view real fast. It's gonna be about that big. I already marked it out. And then the sides in the back, I don't really care about as much. But I want, need a grand front at least. As you can see behind me, getting some good progress in. Gonna F4 out of there real fast. Let's do that. Now then, I know what you're thinking. It does look a little ugly, a little samey right now. However, that's why I have these up here because this is gonna jot out a little bit. Add some needed depth, because yes, indeed, right now it does look really flat, really basic. The orange floor will not stay. That's just like you know, little construction things. And uh, I decided that this section can be like a little gardening or like fountain side stuff right here, and uh, same on this side. So I will be adding windows to like this area and uh, vice versa back there. Behind it, no room, so I don't really care about behind it really. Now then. Um, the thing I want to talk about really now with this is the choice of palette, my, my choice of thinking at least. And I was thinking for the base layer, I wanted something like different, something like strong that would really support the build. So that's why I went for the copper blocks down there. Then we've got prismarine about mm, 10 blocks high. And then at the top we have uh, co cut copper, if I can talk. And like I just did that and managed to like break it up a little bit as in like like you look from the middle, my eyes go up. You don't really start from the bottom in my opinion, but right, well, at least right now you don't start from the bottom with the eyes, but that's a very important part. And it's something you really want to be doing. You want to have your audience when they look at the build, be starting at the bottom and looking up ever so slowly. So you want the details to be heavier at the bottom, then slowly trickle up to the top where they see this little outline at the end and it'll look all the much better. I already know what I plan on probably sh jotting out this, probably to about here to be honest, on this center block right here. In line with each of these pillars, have a slight overhang. So it's like a secondary little balcony roof type thing. I think that'll look nice. Uh, I don't know if the door will be this giant. Can't. However, I don't hate it as this. Something I'll have to consider. But for now, there's someone I have to prank back because, well, the person. It's gonna sound mean when I start off like this, but. The person who made me this skin candle, I'm going to F3, I'm going to press F1. 
Uh, she also, uh, right there up Skellen, she is. She did du du doubles right here, actually. She put, she put, uh, Beto can't spell lovely. Yeah, I can't spell. She said I can't spell. Originally said Beto smells bad. These are candles, if you couldn't tell. And she also built this eyesore. Sparkling water. Blech. Disgusting. If you drink sparkling water, you already know my hatred of it. So you don't need to know anything else. Sparkling water sucks, that's all. She also made more candles all around poor David. Gotta do a little zoom by. There's a lot of them. I I did the I had the dudacity to actually light them, so they're actually official candles now. Not the not the trash candles that candle made that weren't lit at all. Talk about skimping on uh quality, that's what I'm gonna say. But we're gonna be going to Candles Base right now. Cause I need a little revenge, don't I? And uh well, while I'm doing that revenge, I'm going to be working on this in the background. So, just enjoy this clip coming on up. Okay, so, I'm at a rival city, as you can see. This is Candleton, I want to say? I can't really remember the exact name of it. Uh, it's looking, for the little I am saying, it's looking rather lovely. I am jealous of this church design. Might have to, might have to take that as some consideration for something I need. But, um, and that bridge over there, that bridge is beautiful. But... Uh, something you might be noticing is the absolute, um, I don't know what to call this, torch spam, I guess? Absolutely everywhere. Um, I, if a mob spawned here, they'd be melted by all the light. So, just as a little prank, you might see it incoming right now. Um, do you have enough torches, candle? Never. <laughs> Clearly not, and she's pointing right at the candle, the torch right there too. How convenient. Uh, I'm not really doing anything though, cause, well, just wanted to make something real fast, just to keep Candle in line, and judge her on her, on their um, obsession, I guess. I don't like, <laughs> what's this one random hole here? I don't like that. That's strange. Anyways, uh, I hope this is. I think this is their storage right here. Uh, definitely is. So y you should notice that maybe, unless you're like like Mach 10 speeds. And there's a bed right here, so it's probably nearby. We're working on that. Oh well, she'll find it eventually. And when she does, I don't know what she'll think of it, but hopefully it's um, good. I don't know. We'll see. That room might just encourage them to uh, do worse stuff to Morgue City. We'll have to see though. Now then, back to our scheduled build, shall we? Okay, I did way more progress than I intended to. Because didn't do much jump cuts, depending on doing, uh, not dependent, was gonna do two, like, separate jump cuts, but didn't do that. Uh, anyways, as shown from the, well, last clip we pranked Candle, well, they got me back already, so we're just gonna ignore these, uh, every single one of these. She keeps putting these orphan candles here, too. Don't like them that much. Change the sign right there, if you couldn't tell. Alright, so, where we left off, whole bunch of windows and pillars now. So I decided to go with a bit of like this. I don't know. I wanted to use it, had to use it somewhere, so did it like this. Um, the it being, um, what's this stuff called? Glazed terracottas, the white, blue, and blue. Uh, this isn't the blues pattern, but I personally think this looks better because it looks like a nice little diamond or like a clam, kind of. All right, but I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go free cam out too. Um, ignore the, uh, right, that's the roof. I'm gonna go for the roof last, but. Um, I like these pillars. I wanted. I wasn't do originally all trapdoors, but then you know I had a lot of critiques from other people on the server. And, well, this is what I landed with. Everyone consensus, I think, is it looks good. This doorway, I will say, it's probably one of my favorite doorways I've ever made in my life. Um, which uh, isn't too impressive, but I like it still. Um, but well, let me phrase that looks wise. I've built piston doors before. Yeah. Trust me, I'm a smarty pants, guys. You know me. Anyways, um, the doorway is probably my favorite thing about this. I'm going to just back up a little bit because the, the doorway really, like, pulls you in. Like, I think, per, like, the flag up there. Okay, I that's, like, the first thing that hits my eye. But then second thing is, I might as go down. Then you see the diamond block right there. I thought I, I forgot. I don't have a zoom mod. <laughs> and um, where's my torch? No torches. Where's my fireworks at? There they are. But then we got the diamond block. So... My eyes start from there and go down, which yeah. sometimes you want, most times you want to go to go like up. So like, let's say you're about right here. Ignore all the torches make it harder. 
but you want to go like up usually which i still think it does since like the white right there like blasts you compared to all the blue i know it's looking real blue heavy but personally i like it because it, it looks samey that's the point i was trying to go with with that where it's like a government building where like almost all of it looks the same if that makes sense okay anyways uh, a little less impressive we have the um, the interior now uh did a little did a little gradient action right here i know uh, i think you died for that this advice and the calcite because i had no calcite at all uh got some skylights uh as you can see there's not i'm gonna i want to add chandeliers i think like there and there but uh, it's all gonna depend because uh, I also love this staircase too, because I, I don't do staircases that often, but I think that looks good. But anyways, there's going to be office right here, going that way. So, um, there's, this is like basically like, oh, okay, your own personal office has um, chandeliers and such. I don't know how though, I'm going to do it just yet. But I am going to be doing the interior, and I think I want to do this as a time lapse, because... Why not? I'm feeling the time lapse right now. I hope you guys are too. Hissing. What's cute to hissing about? Hope you guys like time lapses though, because here we go. Oh, um, yeah, it's a little awkward, but, um, turns out replay mod, um, hates me. So, um, there goes the idea of a time lapse. And, uh, unfortunately, I decorated the entire thing before I even realized it was <laughs> gonna be stupid. Okay, anyways, um, right here, I didn't bother doing these just yet because you know, F1 mode out of that. Don't You guys don't need to be reading all that. You need to be focusing on this guy right here. I'm not talking about David either. Don't focus on his butt, please. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm gonna be leaving these blank for now because um, I'm not looking at David's butt again. As you can see, I've done a lot of gardening, and I'm not in the mood for more. That, and I need to cut out all this anyway, so it's gonna be a while for before all that. I'm gonna start on uh, this side next time, by the way, for next episode. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyways, time to show off this beauty of a build once again. Give you, give you guys the little exterior right here. Lovely, lovely. And now walking inside, we see a grand something a lot a lot going on um a lot of a like this is like normie civilian armor stands they're not really doing much mainly because that's there's here like filling space basically it's kind of it's kind of boring just like a real office in real life there's no cell phones in, in minecraft i know go figure um this is like the um i got where they called person who like welcomes you welcomer yeah uh, they don't look too enthusiastic to be on the job. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be lasting that much longer. Um, anyways, all the action is actually up here. So let's go up here real fast. Uh, this is... Ooh, this is Mayor Scar's side. Um, as you can see, got Mumbo in a green. They're plushies because I couldn't find their actual heads in the shopping district. But, um, <laughs> as you can see, they're not really getting much done. And... Mayor Scar's in distraught, as you can see very clearly. I don't know if these guys are getting reelected, indeed. Now, uh, also, elephant in the room, not talking about me either, is these lovely chandeliers. I personally love these chandeliers. I think they add a lot, and it does a good job of making it feel like more full, even though it's not really that much fuller, if that makes sense. Like, this would feel so much more empty, like this, this building, if those didn't exist. But I, mean, I, I do love how these came out. It's my first time making chandeliers. First time with a lot of stuff this time. Blech. What I wanted to say was, first time doing a lot of things this time. <laughs> but got two chandeliers. They are a little close to this, unfortunately, but that's not an issue, really. More random armor skins over there. And right here, we have the, the sitting mayor currently. Mayor died. Still haven't gotten around to firing her. Probably never will, though, to be honest. Maybe in a future episode, though. But she's a, she's asking the question: This is what every mayor in in the history of the world has ever asked themselves. They always say, what, "Am I or will I ever be as good as Mayor Badel?" And the answer always will be laughing, and then nah. That's what these few <clears throat> oh, horse frog in my throat. Sorry, 
That's what these two are supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be like laughing. This guy's it looks like he's whacking it, but yeah. he's not. He's he's laughing so hard that he has to hold his tummy. So he's <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyways, and, and died's a little disappointed because you know, a little embarrassing, you know, because you already know the answers. Why are you gonna bother even asking it? But that with that being said, I know the answer on if I enjoyed building this. To be honest, the answer is no. <laughs> this thing was absolute torture to build. Mainly because I've been playing modded recently, a lot of it. And it was very hard to even get get myself to get back on the server, to be honest. But I'm back. I'm alive. Well, alive and well, I should say. Oh, um, maybe not well, I don't know. Uh, but that's not the point. Point is, thank you so much for watching. A little awkward closing there this time. Um, if you guys want me to do a modded, hear me out, if you guys want me to do a modded playthrough, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. And also, another thing, uh, I might as well show this off real fast. Uh, we are, like I said, we are going to be building on this side next time, right here in particular. Just these, basically this backing, playing buildings, like back to back. But, drop me pallets down below in the comment section, please. And I will be building some of my favorite ones that I see. You can make them either as good as you want or as terrible as you want. I don't know yet, but going to be picking yeah, a few from uh, the comment sections, if there's any. You guys better make a comment right freaking now. I almost cursed. You guys heard the start of a curse. I'd hold it back though. I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm proud of you guys for watching to the end of this video. Once again, much love from Beta G. Thank you for watching.